Hey guys, Malcolm here, Survival Know How. Real quick, I want you to name me off the priorities of survival. I know you guys know this, all right? Give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so generally people say the first priority is going to be shelter. And the reason for this is if you get sick while you're out in the wild, man, game over, you're screwed. So typically priority number one is always shelter. Priority number two, a very close second, is hydration and water. And a lot of novices, they overlook this. But uh, you can survive about three to four days with no water at all, and then you die, right? So you got to look at it as like a countdown clock, right? As soon as you're out there, man, you got to go. You got three, four days to find water or else you're going to die. Then after that, a lot of people say it's fire because fire gives you warmth. It gives you some psychological benefit. It helps you purify water, helps you cook food. And then uh, food is at the bottom, makes you survive three to four weeks without any food, sometimes even longer. Now, some people slip communication in there between fire and food. And you can make an argument for that, that most people who get lost in the wild, um, they get found before three or four weeks is up, before they being uh, having no food is really a, a big concern. And so communicating with people to help them locate you is often a very high priority as well. So that's typically what the priorities of survivals are, but you have to look at the priority of survival as kind of something fluid, you know, it's constantly changing. Um, it changes depending on your environment and your situation. So let's say you're out in the wild for, you know, three days, you're stranded right then and there. Three days, no food, no water. What is your top priority? It's not going to be go build a shelter, right? No, man, your your countdown clock is counting down. Uh, you're on your third day. You need to get some water in your system that day or you might not wake up the next morning. The point I'm trying to make is that hydration is crucial to survival, whether you're lost out in the wild or you're trying to survive a natural disaster within your own home. Having clean, purified water has to be a top priority for you. In BattleBox, they get that, and that's why they've dedicated an entire month's box to water purification and storage. This is September 2016, Mission 19. Stay tuned. So as nerdy as it sounds, I'm actually really excited about this water purification box. You know, I'm more excited about water purification than I am, you know, food storage or shelter or even knives sometimes. So I am pretty excited about this. So let's jump in and see what we have uh, in this box. Wow, this is packed full of all kinds of good stuff here. All right, so let's start off with the basic box. The first item is the Hydro Pack Stash. 750 milliliter collapsible water bottle. Okay, so that is this guy right here, the Hydro Pack Stash. Wow. So let's see. Uh, so let's take this top off. There we go. So this is the 750 milliliter water bottle right here. So it looks like you unscrew the cap and this should somehow expand. There we go. Oh, check that out. Check that out. Man, look at that. So look at all the water that you can store inside of this guy. Uh, and so it's got hard plastic on the top and bottom, got a nice hard top here. And then this is kind of a flexible plastic here. So that's great. So then you would collapse it and you just kind of push that in there above this little lip and it kind of stores itself. Look at that, look how small that gets. So this is awesome. You might not think that this is awesome, but this is really awesome. So let's say you are camping, right? You could fit maybe two or three of these in your bag. And then while you're camping, once you find uh, a source of clean water, or once you uh, build a fire and you can boil and purify water, you know, you could take this out and you can fill up two or three of these things so that you have water uh, for the rest of your journey. Like This is great. This is a fantastic item for your bug out bag. And I in fact have something just like this in my bug out bag. So mine, it doesn't have the hard plastic. It's all just this uh, soft plastic and you kind of roll it up but it becomes really compact when it's empty. But this is a very similar um, concept. So this is great guys. If you guys are building a bug out bag, I would absolutely recommend having uh, some form of collapsible thermos uh, like this. So this guy is uh, $18.
So next up, we have the Purine Water Purifier 2 ounce. Okay, so that is this stuff right here. If you've all heard of, uh, you know, you can add bleach to your water uh, in order to purify, you have to let it sit for a while. And they have other types of drops you can add to water to kill all the nasty bacteria. And that's what this looks like it is. Water purifying drops, 100% natural minerals, treats up to 15 gallons of water, that's a lot. So I will tell you this, uh, products like this, I don't know about this exact one, but they typically add kind of a funky taste to the water. But you know what, man, it doesn't matter uh, if you're in a survival situation, you know, tough shit. You're gonna have to drink funny tasting water. So very cool, this is Purine. This is $15.95 for a two ounce uh, bottle, and this treats, again, 15 gallons of water. That is a lot. Just imagine, like, you probably couldn't even fit 15 gallons of water on this little table I have here. That's, that's quite a lot of water. So you have this in your bag, you have bug out bag, you have a few of these in your bug out bag. When you come to a water source, great man, you can put these drops in there, fill these up, and let them kind of, let this stuff kind of work its magic. All right, so next up we have the Sawyer Squeeze Mini. This is a filter, so let's take a look here at what we got. So Sawyer, uh, you've heard of them before, I'm sure you have. They, they are a big water filtration company. And look, they have another collapsible uh, water container here, right? This is a great idea, any kind of collapsible water container. So this is their mini version. Wow, what the hell do we have going on here? And this is the actual filter right here. And we got some sort of straw. Well, I, I need the instructions. Okay, I got it. So you take this guy, uh, you take the straw, you stick the straw on here, and what you do is you can actually suck on this part, and you can stick the straw uh, straight up into a river or something, and the water will filter through here, or you can take a thermos like this, and you can stick the straw way down there, that's, that's a pretty good idea, actually, having the straw, because yeah, how else would you be able to get all that water out? So, so you can stick it in there, and you suck it out through the straw, going through the filter. Fantastic idea. And it also looks like they've designed this so that if you have a, a plastic water bottle, you can fill that up with dirty water, take the lid off, and this will become the lid, and you can screw this on uh, instead of the lid onto the water bottle, and then you can drink through the straw. Awesome idea, man. Uh, very cool. And then one other thing you can do is you can fill up this bag with dirty water. You take this and you screw it on just like you would a, a plastic water bottle, and then you can drink directly out of this bag so it filters through the Sawyer filter here. And I figured out what the syringe is for. The syringe is actually for uh, cleaning the filter. So let's say you're on a multiple day hike, um, you can stick this in here into the part that you normally drink at and you push water through that and that will uh, get on little particles and contaminants off of the filter and push them out of there altogether. So you're backwashing the filter. So this is the Sawyer Squeeze Mini 100,000 gallon filter. All right, so the last item we get in the basic box is the potable aqua tablets here okay these are water purification tablets you've probably all seen these um they are pretty inexpensive here you can get this little container for nine dollars and essentially you just drop the tablets in some contaminated water you let it sit there for a little bit maybe stir it up a little bit and let it work its magic so this is probably uh the most inexpensive way aside from boiling water but the most inexpensive product that you can buy for filtering water uh, and it's just these little tablets inside of here i've got I've got a few of these in my bug out bag. And again, they add kind of a funky taste to the water, but you know, at least you won't be shitting your brains out. All right, so that is it for the basic box this month. So you get these little potable aqua water tablets. You get the Sawyer mini water filter. You get this uh, fluid that you can add to water in order to make it um, potable. So this little treat's 15 gallons. Uh, this comes with the Sawyer, which is a great product, and then you get this collapsible uh, thermos, which is really cool, man. I, I love um, I love things like this, these collapsible thermoses, because it, it just saves so much space in your, your bug out bag, your camping bag, 
but when you find clean water, man, you're good to go. You can fill up as many of these as you want and you know, you're good to go. So that is it for the basic box. All right guys, so moving on to the advanced box. The first item is something I'm very excited about because I was literally looking at this uh, not more than a month ago on Dave Canterbury's website. So this is Dave Canterbury's Pathfinder School Stainless Steel Nesting Bottle and Cup Set. All right. So Dave Canterbury, if you're not really familiar with him, uh, he, he writes a lot of books about survival. He's got a whole survival school. He wrote uh, Bushcraft 101, Advanced Bushcraft. I was on his website uh, not that long ago and I bought these little pamphlets here. So these are also really neat. If you haven't seen these, I recommend them. So each pamphlet kind of covers a specific uh, survival um, niche, I guess. So this one's edible plants in the eastern woodlands. This one's shelter, fire, water, uh, basic primitive navigation. You know, I bought these really for my bug out bag and I wanted to see how they stack up uh, versus having these versus having the SAS survival guide. You know, which one is the better option. That's that's another, whole other thing. That's, that'll be another video right there. Nonetheless, I was on the website and I was looking at this because I, I need a better um, water container, I guess, for when I'm out camping. I want something that I can boil water in. Uh, and this is a great option here. So this is his nesting cup and a stainless steel um, water bottle. Now this is stainless steel, not aluminum. Uh, a lot of people say that if you boil water in aluminum and you have the aluminum pots and everything and containers in the fire that it can release some other chemicals that's built into the thermos that gets in the water and contaminates them is not the most healthy thing for you. So with this we get this huge stainless steel uh, water container. We also get a, uh, this could be a cup or it could be a bowl. Right, it's got some handles here and it also has lid right here as well it goes along with this now it doesn't look like we get it in this set but he also sells um, some hooks that attach to here so they would go in this hole here and this hole here this little like metal clippy thing uh, that comes up and that way you can suspend this from a a branch or a rope or a stick or something and suspend it above the fire to boil water and cook in the fire without having to actually set this down in the fire. So that's something you might want to look into. Um, pretty neat idea. So you have a pretty large thermos here and this actually sits inside of your little cooking pot here just like that. So when you're actually storing this away, it's nice and compact. And if you don't have water in here, you know, you can even store other items in here as well if you wanted to. Now, it doesn't look like you have any place for this uh, lid for the pot to go along with this. You have to store this separately, maybe on top, something like that. But very cool, guys. I am really excited about going out and experimenting with this. This is by Pathfinder School, uh, which is Dave's Canterbury Survival School. And this is his stainless steel nesting bottle and cup. And this is a $40 uh, camping thermos and cup. Also in the advanced box you get a stand port two gallon PVC water bag. So this is kind of keeping up with that whole water bag and using you know flexible pa uh, plastic to store water. So as you're hiking or you're camping you know this is super compact right this is uh, just a sheet of plastic pretty much but when you unfold it you can store up to two gallons of water in this giant bag like this. Look how cool that is. And it's got a little top right here. So for me, I would think that this would be uh, mostly for non-potable water. So if you have a, a stream or something nearby, you can fill this up with dirty water and you bring it back and you can store it and then you know pour it in and boil water when you need to. Or you can use this for sanitation purposes, clean your pots and pans, clean your hands, you know, things like that. Uh, I, I, you probably wouldn't boil and clean water and then stick it in here, although you could, but this would most likely be for non-potable water. And it looks like it's got a nice little handle there, so you can easily tip it over and pour things out. Uh, this guy is a clip, so you do somehow you do something like this. 
Yeah, there we go. And that way you can uh, kind of seal this top part off. It's pretty neat. You could definitely see this being handy if you're out camping for multiple days. You know, you make one trek to a nearby stream or lake, you fill this guy up, you bring it back, and then you have non-potable water, which you can use for cooking. Uh, and boil you want to boil it first. All right, so this is the uh, Stanport two gallon PVC water bag. This is the second item, the advanced box. And then the first item, of course, was the Dave Canterbury uh, thermos and nesting cup, which was specifically designed for wilderness survival. Keep that in mind. All right, guys, so moving on to the pro box. The first item we're gonna get is the Hydro Pack three liter shape shift reservoir bladder hydration system. Holy cow, that is a mouthful. What is that exactly? So that is this fancy looking guy right here. So here we go again, keeping up with this uh, flexible water container theme that we're seeing here, right? I, I love this. This is a fairly new concept uh, on the market the last, I don't know, five, 10 years or so. Uh, you know, you go back to the 90s, they didn't really use things like this. So this is awesome. Uh, I love, I, I love that you can compact, everything is compacted when you're not using it. So this is it guys, and also comes with a pretty long hose. And I would imagine this would be the kind of thing that you would uh, actually stick inside your bag, right? While you're camping, and then you could have this hose come out so that you can drink out of it. You know, something, something like that would come around so you can drink out of your bag while you're hiking. Uh, very neat, it's got some pretty interesting features here. Up at the top here, it's got a slide lock. Just like that, kind of like a Ziploc bag, I guess. Uh, okay, so it's a clip like this. So they they are making, they're over engineering this to really make sure no water spills out. All right, so you have this little tab here. Ah, okay, that opens up. Yeah, just like that. Put the water in there, close it up, you fold it. And then you slide this guy over top of it. Yeah, that, that's not going to open up at all. That's great. Man, and then you are good to go. Now, inside of here, they actually have uh, this kind of plastic spine here. And they have one on each side, and you can clip them together. And that'll kind of limit the amount of water you can put in here, but it'll keep it nice and slim. Or the other option is you can take them apart and that'll allow it to uh, fill up much more uh, width-wise. So another really neat feature is that it comes with a little clip like this that would go on your, your shirt or on your strap, your backpack, or whatever. It has a magnet in it, and this also has a magnet in it like that. So when this is on your back like this, you can stick this clip somewhere. Let's stick it right here on my shirt for now. And then you can just magnetically attach it to it. Where'd it go? Right there. Where'd it go? There we go. All right, so you don't have to worry about it. And then when you want it, you just pull it off and you can suck on it. Uh, that is actually a really great feature. I don't know if you guys ever used the Camelbacks before, but uh, that, that's a big issue is how to keep this, uh, this guy close by to you at all times. And sometimes it is kind of a pain in the neck, and sometimes you do have a lot just hanging out like this and it's flopping around like that. It's pretty, pretty annoying. So I, I really love this feature that you can have a little magnetic clip there, and you can move it up and down on this as well. So if you want this closer to the, um, the end here, you can do that. There you go, just like that. And you just keep it there at all times. So as you're walking, very cool, man. They, they really put a lot of thought into the design of this. Um, the bag, it also can, is reversible, so you can turn it inside out, which helps you uh, clean it and helps you uh, dry it out if you need to. So overall, this looks like a fantastic product. It looks like they put a lot of thought into the design of this bag. And again, this is really for when you're hiking, so you can constantly have uh, plenty of hydration right there when you need it. So next up in the pro box, we have the Aquamura two-part water treatment drops. Okay, so this is these guys here. There's actually two containers in here. Uh, and this is supposed to be for treating water, but it doesn't just clean the water. 
it uh this is like a luxury uh water cleaner so let's see blah, blah, blah. this is so this is designed for controlling the odor and slime and taste of water so if you ever had water in a container for a long time you know like a water bottle or something it gets a little gross sometimes man you get like algae that builds up in there almost you get like a slime uh and so this is supposed to be for treating uh long-term storage of water so if you know you're camping and you fill up a bag like this and you might not drink it for three or four days uh, but you have clean water at the time you want to fill up some containers you know this would be a good additive to add some of the water and it's going should be purifying the water uh, as well as preventing it from building up slime or algae or anything else like that so last up in the pro box we have another book which is great uh education is power right knowledge is power fantastic this is the prepper's water survival guide harvest treat and store your most vital resource all right it's a nice little book you can bring this along when you're camping uh you can i probably wouldn't throw this in your bug out bag but throw it up in your library and take a look at it and you go really deep into the whole subject of water purification and water storage very cool so that's it guys for the pro box just to recap we have the uh prepper's water survival guide this is a 1095 book we have the aquamer two-part water treatment drops these are 14.99 and then we have the hydropack three liter shape shift reversible bladder hydration system it's a mouthful man but uh this is pretty awesome they put a lot of thought into the design of this um and i'm definitely going to take this uh, along with me next time i go camping or hiking so fantastic design and that's it for the pro box so moving along to my favorite part of these battle boxes and that is the pro plus box which is pretty much just the knife in the month club uh with the battle box and this month's knife is by Spiderco. We've seen a lot of Spiderco battle boxes. Guys are obviously a fan of them, but Spiderco does very high quality knives, so I'm pretty excited to see what we got here. And here we go. This is it. This is the Spiderco uh, blade for September. So this is the Spiderco Delica 4 VG10 Blue Edition. It's a very nice. Uh, I have some other Spiderco knives. They look very similar to this. You can easily recognize Spiderco uh, just by this blade style that they do. Um, my other knife, like this one, has a plastic handle, which is really designed for keeping it uh, nice and lightweight. It's blue, so it's easy to find. You don't want to lose your knife. And there we go. So this is a little bit bigger than the one that I have already. It's got a nice uh, thumb grip right there, which I always really like. And so this is a flat grind straight edge. Spyderco knives are always very comfortable uh, to hold in your hands. You know, they have a lot of grooves in here that is really designed for uh, your knuckles and fingers, which I really enjoy. Uh, this is the locking mechanism right back here. It's got a belt clip on the side here. So the length of the knife closed is four inches and it comes with a three inch blade. So a total of seven inches when it's fully open like this. The knife weighs 1.9 ounces and it features a volcano grip. So that's talking about the texture uh, on the actual handle here. It's very nice guys. I like Spyderco. I have a few knives by Spyderco. I'm a big fan of the, theirs. Uh, and this is just another pretty nice knife to add to the collection. And so this is a $80 value right here. So that is the Spyderco 4-inch VG10 Blue Edition. So guys, that's it for BattleBox Mission 19. Some really cool gear here. I'll have links to all this gear down in the description below if you want to find out more about them. Um, don't forget to check out battlebox.com. I can never say good enough good stuff about them. They always have some really cool gear. Uh, I'm always discovering cool gear through Battlebox. Don't forget to check out my website, survivalknowhow.net. I just posted two new blog posts up there. One of them was uh, top five DIY water filters, right? And that ties in great with this box. Uh, and then the other article was the top 10 survival uses for sugar. You'd be surprised uh, what you can use sugar for uh, in a survival situation. So go check that out, survivalknowhow.net. And until next time, guys, remember, knowledge weighs nothing. So long. Lost in the wild, or you're trying to outride out. All right, so this is it. So I would imagine 
Um, let's see, I think it was top 10 survival. Fuck, what the hell was it? Having clean, purified water is crucial and... So the point I'm trying to, so the point I'm trying to make is that hydration is crucial. 